Dear Todd, is it wrong to decide to switch churches if you don't have much of a reason to leave the one you are currently a part of and both the one you attend and the newcomer both teach the word of God well? In a word, no. No, it wouldn't. There should be no reason to skedaddle from a church that is teaching the Bible well. Not just saying what they believe about the Bible, but teaching the Bible well. You have found yourself a good home. Why would you leave? Answer, you shouldn't. Two, three, four. Having said that, can I understand that you might desire to go to a new place because it would be so superior for the needs of your family? Yes, yes, it could be a possibility. It should always be done in conjunction with both pastors because that will keep you honest with your motivations and it does both fellows a favor. To know that you're actually leaving and why and why you are arriving, it is a favor to both and it's the transparent way I think we should leave a church. Having said that, I would also like to suggest you weigh something a bit intangible, perhaps more heavily than the youth programs, the Sunday school classes, especially if you have kids. One of the things that we tend to overlook is that we desire to instill a love for the local church into our kids. And if we're kind of just boop off to the next one and zip over to the new place, what are we teaching our kids about the local church? We are the consumers. It is the product, and that is not biblical. There is an intangible to be considered. If you're looking at switching from a faithful church to another faithful church that perhaps has more stuff, what will it teach your kids? Will your fidelity and your love for those saints and your esteem for those elders, will that perhaps be a richer lesson for your kids then maybe just having a better playground system? Any time you consider leaving a church, it is a big deal. And if you choose to make that decision, and I grant you this can be a little bit foggy sometimes, please keep the kids in mind because there's too many kids who grew up with mom and dad just shopping and bopping constantly and they themselves never land because it was never modeled for them. Well, thank you, Carol. I, I can't wait to try some of that low sodium peppermint lasagna. Sounds delicious. Let's get to the weather, shall we? As you can see, we are going to have a massive warm front moving its way up the eastern seaboard, expecting temperatures upper 90s and low 100s. Unless, of course, you're outside of Christ, then on Judgment Day, it is going to be hot. Back to you, Carol. Not only hot, weeping, gnashing of teeth. And so thirsty, your tongue's going to be stuck to the roof of your mouth. You're just going to wish for a storm to come through, which you folks down in the south can be expecting on Wednesday.